Insane Clown Posse filed a federal lawsuit in Michigan on Tuesday against the Federal Bureau of Investigation, otherwise known as the FBI. Uh, something that we actually covered on our show, Two Hotheads on Where Activism Happens. We recently covered this story uh, about uh, Insane Clown Posse, uh, how their fans, the Juggalos, were listed as a gang and a threat assessment released by the FBI, which has had uh, real-life impl implications on people who are facing uh, probation and things like that. If you're caught with uh, insane clown posse gear and you're on probation, you could violate your probation and be sent to jail. This happens to people all the time, apparently. And it's something that uh, I find is totally ridiculous. Um, insane clown posse put out a press release talking about this and noting that they are perhaps one of the first major uh, music acts in the United States to ever have their fans classified as a gang. Um, and really how ridiculous this is, I gotta give it to the uh, Insane Clown Posse, Violent J. Uh, big ups for you guys for sticking up for your fans and going up against the feds. Uh, often musicians and artists, they, they, they don't wanna rock the political boat. That's very true, you see all these artists coming out for causes and things, but when it comes down to the true politics, they generally don't get involved because they, all, all of their uh, shows and are under the government thumb. I mean, you know, anytime you, you play a venue, you're dealing with government regulations and they can shut you down at any time. Um, so I got to give it to the Insane Clown Posse for sticking up for their fans and fighting back against the FBI. Um, if you're a juggalo, you definitely should uh, check this out and support it. I'm sure you're already aware of what's going on. Uh, if you're not, and you're like me, because I'm not a juggalo, but uh, you know, if if you're not into that, and you're you're you know, you kind of think it's the whole thing silly, great. But you know, at the same time, nobody should be labeled a gang member based on liking a music group. I mean, that's just that's just totally insane. <laughs> it's more insane than the insane clown posse, you know. So uh, I, I just wanted to just give an update on it because I know you know a lot of people aren't aware, but. Uh, Big ups to the Insane Clown Posse for sticking up for their fans. And I'm also wearing, if you look at me right now, what am I wearing? I'm wearing my Live Free shirt given to me by the Gary Johnson 2012 campaign. If you're a juggalo out there, let me say that again. If you're a juggalo out there and you're not involved politically and you're not planning on voting, um, I think that's a big mistake. You should get registered to vote. You should get involved because these... You know, voting is uh, one way to to make sure that your voice is heard, and specifically, vote for a third party. Vote for somebody that does, isn't part of the establishment. Vote for somebody that wouldn't do this to you as a fan of Insane Clown Posse. I'll tell you right now, Gary Johnson, if he was president, he wouldn't allow the FBI to do this to you. So, you know, I know uh, most ICP fans are probably not too politically active and not interested in politics and think that. Uh, all politicians are scumbags, and I got you know I, I can't really blame you for that. However, at the same time, you you need to you need to stand up for yourself. And just like uh, Insane Clown Posse right now is standing up for you and standing up for themselves, one one great way to stand up for yourself is to vote. And uh, don't vote for Obama. Don't vote for Romney. Vote for none of the above if you, if you must. Or uh, you know, check out someone like Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson. 2012. Gary Johnson would not allow this to happen. Uh, his vice president is a former judge. Uh, they don't believe that the war on drugs is just. They 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 think that uh, <laughs> drugs should be legalized, specifically, definitely marijuana for starters. Um, you know, a lot of this drug war is a class war, and it's a class war on people uh, like the juggalos, and we all know this. And uh, one of the things about the insane clown posse is they really do market and they, they their family is a lot of the underclass and uh, I feel like that is really why they're being targeted here is because their fan base is the underclass of America and uh, the underclass doesn't vote and that's why the underclass is often picked on uh, marginalized and not taken seriously I, I I would love to see insane clown posse get a little more politically active check out someone like so, someone like Gary Johnson I, I wish that uh, 
Silent J would even take a next step. Maybe that maybe that's in his uh, plans. I, I kind of doubt it. I know that they've never gotten involved in any political cause or political actions. But uh, this is a big wake-up call, I think, for them. I mean, for them to file char file a federal lawsuit against the FBI is huge. Uh, the lawsuit was filed in Michigan. What is it about? It's about the fact that they filed a Freedom of Information Act to find out why the juggalos were termed gay. They wanted the evidence. They wanted to know why. The FBI didn't get back to them in, in the uh, required a lot of time. So the lawyers for Insane, Insane Clown Posse have filed a federal lawsuit against the FBI. Um, so definitely, you know, if you're, if you're part of, uh, if you're a juggalo, check out Gary Johnson 2012 because this, this is the type of person that would never allow this to happen to you in America. And it's one of the reasons why I support Gary Johnson. I'm a, I'm a cannabis consumer. I'm a medical marijuana user. And uh, I'm all about Gary Johnson for this very reason. I am sick of being stigmatized, marginalized, and uh, I'm really no, no longer marginalized or stigmatized. And why? Because I'm politically active. I know politicians. Uh, a lot of politicians know who I am. They, a lot of politicians are scared of me uh, because I speak out on these issues. I have this YouTube channel. I'm educated. I'm active. I'm organizing people. I have a voice. People respect me. This is what I think juggalos need to do. You need to follow what uh, Silent J is doing. Fight back. Fight back against the system. Don't allow the police and the government to marginalize you, to stigmatize you. It's it's not acceptable. And uh, they, the the juggalos, I, I I'm with you 100. percent I feel like. Uh, you guys, it's so unfair because I know so many of you are, uh, I've met you, I've, I've hung out with you, I know so many of you are very peaceful people. Um, and of course, you know, anyone in the, under, anyone part of the working class or in the class, there's going to be a certain percentage that uh, are not that way. And for all juggalos to be stigmatized and labeled just because there's a few bad apples, it just doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, they put the juggalos up there with the Crips and the Latin Kings and, you know, these these real organized gangs that exist. The Juggalos are not organized as a gang. They're not a gang. They're a family of people that uh, respect and have loyalty to, to each other and love because of their favorite music act, ICP. Uh, so I'm with you 100%. And, and, uh, and again, I'm just going to say it one more time. Please check out GaryJohnson2012.com. And check me out. Mike can. Please subscribe if you like what I'm saying on my YouTube. Check out my radio show, Two Hotheads, where activism happens. I'd love to hear from you guys. Call in on any Saturday. We're 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. live, Eastern Standard Time, on unregularradio.com. You can reach us live on the, on the, on the stream at 617-606-4122. If you've ever been targeted as a juggalo, if you've ever had a judge come down hard on you, a probation officer, because you're wearing juggalo gear, I want to hear from you. Uh, send me a message on, on my Facebook uh, send me a message on YouTube or call into our uh, live streaming radio show any Saturday. 